So this is a video of my wonderful girlfriend building her new B5M. <laughs> Unlike the other chick previously seen on YouTube who claims she's an RC racer, I have proof that mine actually does it. Go me. So she's already put the steering together and the chassis and she is now working on the front hubs and suspension as illustrated in her nifty manual right down here. However, I could foresee this video being rather long. Then don't videotape all of it. So while she's messing with that screw, you should buy that kit. It's awesome. That's how much we paid for it. <laughs> You're such a dork. I wonder how many people are actually going to watch this. Nobody. <laughs> watch, it's going to get like 10,000 hits. Doubt it. I don't. Alright. What do we got next? Now you need to put it... In the front arms. On the control arms, yep. So, what you're going to want to do... They're bent upward. They're bent so. upwards, and like I was saying, uh, the holes face the back of the car. So that would be a left. That would be the left arm. So that's yep, and the other one. Yeah. Right. So that's the right arm, or right. That's the left. And you want to make sure. Test your block spacer. Oh. Nope. Plastic doohickey. Grab the arm. Left arm. I will. Hold on. You can't put the spacer on without. Are those the tiny little screws? Yes, they are. They're like the other pins on the B4s. So what you want to do, start it. Start the pin. Nope. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> nope. Back it up. I know. I need to get the thingy in there. You got the shim on there? Not yet. You need to put that next. I was trying to figure out how this goes first. Hold on. You're holding it upside down. Flip it. Balls to the top. <laughs> Gosh. I say balls and you get all messed up. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I need this. It's, yep. This is going to go in. It doesn't go in. It goes... In between. Oh, the hole. Hold the arm with the pin in it. Slide it right there. Yep. And leave a little bit of the... Just have enough of the pin out to where it kind of chills there. And then you upslide the arm. All right, and then slide it through that hole facing that way. This y hole? Y no, that's the one where the optional screw. That one. This one. Correct. You're hiding your work behind your hair. I had to get a better grip on it. Something's got to go on the other. That's where the tiny screw goes. Down here? It goes right there and that holds the pin in. Really? Yep. How does that screw hold the pin in right there? Because it overlaps that hole. That's why the pin sits flush. Oh, all right. I see what you mean. They're called captured pins. Oops.
I like these much better than the little elementary. Yes. Because you can just hold it right there and turn it with your fingers. The tools that she's speaking of are dynamite little Allen wrenches. They come in a bunch of sizes. They're like two or three bucks a piece. Well worth it. Now, are these ones going to be tight or do they get loose too? No, those will be fine. Just tighten those up. Well, you don't need to crank them because they're not likely to come out. Now, for anybody who's watching this B5 build, um, compared to the B4, it's awesome, but most of your old tools won't work because this is all metric, as opposed to the mix of metric and standard on the B4s. Oh, I see where the, and then the little... Except for it's upside down. Yeah. But I see where the... What's going to attach to that? Yo. It makes sense. Where's my own? I would have figured it out because it has to look like that one. I know my logic. It has to look like that one. <laughs> well, it has to look like it completely opposite, though. Right. It's a mirror image. Should probably stop videotaping me now. Okay, fine. Well, this is the first installment. <laughs> Making me nervous. Shaky hands. <laughs> I'm not. It's, you're just making me nervous right now. This was your idea. So, first installment. There will be a second one coming tomorrow. <laughs> and probably a third and fourth. I am... Pretty much making her build this herself because, uh, well, I was the one maintaining and building and doing all that fun stuff. So she's becoming a good enough racer to wear. It's her time. So you'll be seeing more videos. Hopefully this Sunday we, we'll get some footage of her new ride and my new ride, which is over here, you know, right about there. Cause it's cool. And yeah, you'll uh, be hearing from us. Bye.